Okay, so I got these three boards cut out. My A board, my B board, and my C board. And so A sits up like this, B goes like this, right down the middle, and C goes right here. Just like that. And that's gonna be my wing stand. Step two is gonna be to cut this OSB into the backing plates. They're going to go and act as uh, braces. All right, so here is the OSB backer report. All right, time to start putting this one together. All right, so there's the base of the stand. The C board, which is the upright board, I haven't finished uh, cutting all that out yet and all that kind of stuff goes like that. That board goes all the way up here and that's, uh, I'm gonna cut about, I still gotta cut off I think like four inches off of what I think is what it was. And I'm gonna use that to make an angle brace. You move from like right here to right here to make that extra good and strong. I did add a um, OSB angle brace under there which has made this all like incredibly strong. So yeah. All right, day two. So uh, yesterday I didn't quite get to complete the wing stand with what I got done yesterday. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is this thing's not very easy to move right now, so I'm gonna put casters on it. So let's check the time lapse. Well, this is a bummer. So, you've probably just seen, I had this little roller wheel in there, and I stomped on the board to try to get it to go in, because I wasn't sure on how you would actually hit this in there. And apparently that was a really bad idea, because I put a side load on it, and it cracked the board. Bummer. Alrighty, well it is getting kind of windy. I was originally drilling uh, 5 16 inch holes, but I realized after reading the packaging better that it said that you need to do a 3 8 inch hole. So I've got to re-drill these and then so I can put the new ones, uh, so I can put the casters on. Okay, so here's what I got so far. Now I've got the casters. Um, all three casters 
rolls pretty easily. Yeah. Should be a pretty neat little wing stand when it's done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this seaboard here. That I've got to cut six inches off the end to make a uh, upright. Make a little. I'm gonna make it. Gotta make a little brace that goes from here to here on the seaboard and it's going to act as a brace for this way. I want to make sure this thing is as strong as it can be and I think that's going to be a good way to do that. Okay, so what I've just done is I have drawn a circle with a little keyway cut in the top of it. I'm going to cut out these two lines here and drill out this hole for the pipe to go in. And this will be my hinge point. And then what I'm also going to do is I've got these carriage nuts. These carriage bolts right here. And that I got way too long, way too short for what I need to be doing here. Okay, so what I have here is I have two notched cutouts and a hole with a keyway gap in the top. And what this is going to be for is so that way I can have my bolt up here, my three inch, my three and a half inch carriage bolt. And uh, really if I got in like a four inch carriage bolt or a four and a half inch carriage bolt would probably be the best, I wouldn't need to make these cuts here. But I got three and a half inch carriage bolts. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I did. <laughs> so I got to deal with that now. All right, so I have had to now wall this out a little bit. So, but this does fit in there now. So I just go in there with that. Trying to it bit freely. So with that, that completes all of the fabrication, basically. All of the uh, cutting, I'm sorry. For the engines, for this wing stand, except for the part that's actually gonna go out here. We'll make that at the hangar because we have more wood there at the hangar and I want to make sure that I've got this exactly sized right for a box 1000. So let's go ahead and uh, try it on. So here is the final result. And that's just about it for this one. Got all the casters on it. Well, pretty okay. They don't really like, there's like some small rocks on the ground. They don't really seem to like that very much. Uh, I did overly countersink my screws that hold this board to this board. So they kind of stick out a little bit. That one, that one I might have to grind down or something. Cause that's like these ones are okay, but that one's too much. Um, I did end up adding, this was not in the SketchUp plans, I'm gonna add that. This was, uh, this is a gusset, no, sorry, this was in the plans. This one wasn't in the plans. I added this um, just out of a piece of OSB I had left over. 
I um, was kind of going through things I wish I'd done differently. So for this, I would have much rather have done this where I split this different this distance up. Really, the ideal solution would have been just to get longer carriage bolt. So uh, really, should have got a probably a four and a half inch carriage bolt for this. I only got a three inch, uh, three and a half inch carriage bolt, which I don't know what I was thinking because this is a three and a half inch board. So yeah, not exactly sure what I was thinking on that one. But yeah, that just about settles it. Um, I had so I had to cut into this one, but unfortunately, probably about to see here. Can you see that crack there? There's that crack there where the wood is split, and if I let that progress too far, it'll just break right off. So I've got to do something about that. I'll probably just get some wood glue in and I'll glue that back on there. Probably not exactly sure what I'll do for that right now, but it is getting starting to get late. It's the setting setting now, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off this video here. I've got all the materials I need to make a second one of these, but it should be basically identical to the first. So. I'll go ahead and just uh, leave this video off here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I definitely could have lined this up much better. Uh, that did not get lined up nearly as well as it should. I'll fix that in the second one. But yeah, I think I'm leaving this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on the next video.